Hello and welcome to Campbell Now TV, your go-to source for video news in the creek. I'm Cassidy McCardle and I'm Hannah Faulkner. With the holidays right around the corner, the School of Medicine hosted their annual Christmas party while making Operation Christmas Child boxes to send around the world. Taylor Deckert has the story. We're celebrating Christmas a little early in the School of Medicine. Students, faculty, and staff are packing shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child at Christmas Palooza. The School of Medicine SGA is led by Chris Ferrante. They are excited to celebrate the holiday while giving back to others. So today is Operation Christmas Child, Christmas Palooza. Uh, it's an annual event we do here at the medical school. Uh, and we pack shoeboxes for Operation Christmas Child, which is a non-for-profit that takes and sends these shoeboxes all over the world to uh, underprivileged children that don't necessarily get anything for Christmas. Yeah, so SGA uh, functions under the national government of the College of Osteopathic Student Government Presidents, uh, and we put on events that promote the osteopathic mission uh, within the campus and within our school. Uh, and one of those events is like this, and we organize all of our clubs uh, and get lots of collaboration from our clubs and other student governments throughout the country uh, to make a difference in our communities. To build a box, you start with the average size shoe box, then decide whether you will pack a box for a boy or a girl ranging in ages 2 to 4, 5 to 9, or 10 to 14. Items like soccer balls, fun toys, hygiene items, and school supplies that match the age. The Operation Christmas Child event was started by an organization called Samaritan's Purse. They focus on crises all over the world and putting Christ in those countries and situations. The organization serves the church worldwide to promote the gospel of Christ. We hope this puts you in the Christmas spirit and you enjoy your Thanksgiving break. Find out where you can drop off an Operation Christmas Child box at www.samaritanspurse.org. I'm Taylor Deckert reporting for Campbell Now, sending a ho 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 back to you in the studio. This is a great organization with an amazing purpose. Thanks, Taylor. SGA held another meeting on November 16th that allowed for a few changes on campus. Annual exam break in the library during exam week with drinks and snacks to help relieve the stress and to allow students to gain focus on studying. SGA will also host their annual exam break at Bojangles on December 6th. Lighting will be installed in the area between the parking lot and pull-up bars between the ROTC building for ROTC cadets and any students seeking to work out with the equipment. Resolution 025-18 was successfully passed to allow the option for more chairs to be installed, installed throughout the campus for increased socialization or relaxation in front of many buildings across campus, and another resolution was passed to create a brick pathway through the mulch in front of Sauls and Murray Hall. Be sure to tune in to your future broadcasts to hear more about the hard work that the Student Government Association puts in for their students here at Campbell. We're going to take a short break, but stick around for news about the Midnight Breakfast, coming right up after this break. chili outside, come and enjoy some macaroni and cheese and warm chili while you watch a holiday movie with your friends. Join CAB and the Rumley Center on December 4th to celebrate the upcoming holiday season. The event starts at 7 p.m. 
It's the time of the year for the annual midnight breakfast. The entry line begins to form at Marsh Banks at 7 p.m. and the doors will open at 9.30 p.m. The event should last until around 11 p.m. Free t-shirts will also be given away. Don't miss out on this pre-exam tradition. Exams are coming up, which means it's time to crack open the books and start studying. Reading day is next Wednesday the 6th and no classes will be held. Just a friendly reminder that on reading day, quiet hours will become 24 hours a day. As much as we love having fun, everyone will be studying and doing their best to get a good night's rest before the test. Also during exam week, the entire library is open 24 hours a day. Be sure to take advantage of all the opportunities that our library has to offer, including online resources, the articles room, and simply study spaces to ensure focus for all of our students as they head into a stressful part of the year. Now for another break. Weather and sports are coming up next. Recently, our country has witnessed catastrophic devastation. Hurricanes and flooding have upended lives and livelihoods. Across this great country, Americans have answered the call. That special calling that compels us, when others are down, to step up and do whatever it takes. America's at our best when, against all odds, we come together and lift each other up. Please donate to OneAmericaAppeal.org. America needs you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now for this week's weather report from our local weather expert. Some say that he lights the way for Santa's sleigh and that exams stay up all night just to study him. All we know is he's called Gray Barnhill. Burr, it was cold last week, but this week is a lot warmer. Starting on Tuesday, we have a high of 66 and a low of 40 with an absolute 0% chance of rain. And then moving on Wednesday, we've got a high of 69 and a low of 39 with only a 10% chance of rain. And then moving on to Thursday with a high of 62 and a low of 44 with only a 10% chance of rain. And then on Friday with a high of 62 and a low of 34 with, again, only a 10% chance of rain. And then ending the week on Saturday with a high of 56 and a low of 35, again, at last, with a 10% chance of rain. So, camels, don't forget, send us your photos on Twitter, at CampbellCUTV. Here's a photo that was sent to us earlier. Thanks, Gray. Make sure to keep wrapped up this exam season. Now for the sports report in the creek. Let's hand things over to William Lassiter. Good evening. I'm William Lassiter. The men and women's basketball teams had a lot of basketball in a five-day span. It started up Wednesday as the women took on College of Charleston. The women would win by eight with a 53-45 victory. Carolina Bounds led the team in scoring with 14 points, followed by Summer Price with 12 and Michaela Rouse with 10. They would do the same thing Saturday as they dominated UNCG with a 72-61 victory. Summer Price had a career high of 28 points and also scored a 1,000th point in her collegiate career. Taya Bolden put up a double-double with 10 points and 12 rebounds, which is her fourth straight game with double-digit rebounds. Their next game is November 30th against Mercer right here in Bowie's Creek. Come out and support. The men hosted the Creek Classic, which began Friday as they took on Abilene Christian. They will follow the ACU, losing 85-80 in an exciting overtime finish. Marcus Burke led the team in scoring with 22 points. They will continue to play the next day as they faced Bowling Green. They will lose again 78-72 as Shane Whitfield led in scoring with a season high 28 points. Sunday will be a different story as they beat USC Upstate 93-74. The team shot 71% in the second half and set a school record for threes with 16. Marcus Burke led the team in scoring with 26 while Chris Clemens and Corey Gensler scored 19 each. That's all the time I have for tonight. I'm William Lasser. I'm back to you. Thanks, William. That's all from us here at Campbell Now. We hope everyone enjoyed Thanksgiving break and that you do well on your exams. I'm Hannah Faulkner. And I'm Cassidy McCardle. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.